how are my aquariums doing? Hey, look, I went ahead and uh, obviously, as you see, I gave some of the underdogs a chance, okay? You and Capricorn are still my title holders, first and second place. Aquarius, you're number two again. But um, I wanted to I wanted to see if I can give some other some of the underdogs a chance to get some views, okay? But I definitely have some stuff in store for you and Capricorn too. This reading is going to be extended a little bit, okay? I have an extra deck here. I'm using three decks on this reading where I'm going to clarify, you know, a lot more and get a bigger, broader uh, picture for you and Capricorn, okay? And I'm also going to be throwing. Uh, you and Capricorn, something extra in this month, you know, some kind of extra bonus reading. I have a couple good ideas up my sleeve, but anyway, I don't want to babble a whole, whole lot. If you want to uh, tip me or throw in a nice little donation to the channel, the information for that's in the description. Greatly appreciative to those of you who do. It helps out much more than you know, okay, much more than you know. And uh, for those of you who would like to see any extra video content outside of just reading tarot, um, the, the link for my Facebook page is in the description as well. And feel free to go ahead and like me there. But anyway, I don't want to babble a whole lot. Let's get right into it. Aquarius, what's going on for November? Did this situation ever come to an end? I know the energy was there. Okay, I caught that in one of the weekly readings. The energy was in the air, but like I tell everybody, the tarot cards will, will let you know a lot of times what, you know, where things are going, but it's up to you really to... Uh, take advantage of whatever energies are in the air. So let's see. Let's see. Aquarius, November 2018. Aquarius, November 2018, universe. Two more shuffles. Put these cards in order, pretty please. Two more, one more shuffle. All righty, Aquarius. Let's see how people are perceiving you for November. Get you an external energy. How are people looking at Aquarius? How are people looking at you? How do people, whoop, whoop, whoop. Too many cards, too many cards, too many cards. There's one though. Three of wands reversed. Three of wands reversed. I kind of feel like people may be looking at you like, uh, okay, but the ace of wands is how you feel on the inside. Three of wands reversed. Some people may be actually seeing you like, uh, I don't know, that's kind of confusing. I'm not gonna lie, this is a little bit confusing. Three of wands is how you're being perceived, ace of wands in the upright. Three of Wands reversed is how you're being perceived. Ace of Wands in the upright is how you feel on the inside. I definitely feel like people are looking at you um, kind of like you're just not interested. Like not interested in them, not interested in uh, um, what they have to say, or you're not really interested in working with people. Uh, but that's not the case because you feel like the Ace of Wands in the upright on the inside. What it is is that you have ideas in your mind that you don't really want to talk about, I feel like. What the, the I, it's kind of like this right here, basically to summarize it is like, I'm not telling anybody my next move. Okay. Cause first of all, it's none of their business. Second of all, um, I don't want anybody like ruining it for me and putting out any, uh, energy that might affect my next move and, uh, what I'm doing next. Do you understand what I'm saying? That makes sense. Okay. So let's get some past energies for you. Let's get some past energies for Aquarius, November, 2018 universe. Past energies for Aquarius for November 2018. Two more shuffles. One. And two. Oh, there we go. Oh, dang it, cards. Brand new deck. Breaking her in, breaking her in. Let's get some past energies for you. There we go. Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> See, that's the funny thing, Aquarius. That's the funny thing. And the five of wands reversed. So <laughs> again, like I said, that's, that's the same reason why the three of wands is in the reverse. This is the reason people are perceiving you like maybe you're a little bit uninterested or like you don't really care, uh, is mainly because in order to make forward movement, you, you're, you're wanting to avoid conflict. You're not wanting any, any, any like negativity coming your way that will throw you off path because you are very much so, uh, this is what you're, this is every bit of what's on your mind. Making forward movement with the Ace of Wands. Absolutely. You know, but uh, you're just kind of, mm, you know, not, not being very specific about uh, who you allow into your bubble and like who you speak to because you're, I think you're very aware of the power of other people's thoughts and how they can affect you. You're not a, you're not a victim to it. Three of, three of Cups in the reverse just showed itself to me. You're not a victim to it, but... 
it can have some effects. And I just feel like that's something you really don't want to deal with. Judgment. Judgment. Let's go ahead and get another card. I'm going to clarify all these anyway. Any ones that I'm, you know, have a little bit of a question about, I'm going to clarify. And the Knight of Swords is reversed. The Knight of Swords is reversed. Okay. All righty. Well, let's go ahead and take this deck right here and let's clarify a couple things. In the past, basically what I'm seeing, um, th this I feel like is more recent past, uh, probably throughout October, uh, what it was, is, uh, you know, trying to avoid as much conflict as possible because basically like anybody you communicate with on the path you're on right now, you're like so sharp minded on the path you're on right now. Pretty much anybody you communicate with, you're getting into an argument with them. You know, and just like it's it's always turning bad. So uh, what you went ahead and did was you just went ahead and just, you know, kind of with this three of wands right here being reversed, uh, the way it's coming out in this reading here, I'm I'm feeling more like people are just looking at you like like you're you're not interested, you know, and uh, you're doing that on purpose. It's very meticulously thought out. And the only thing it's for is to avoid conflict because, you know, damn good and well that when you're. When you've got, when you're in the zone, and you're focused on a goal or, or whatever, um, you're focused on it, and any distractions can piss you off, especially if they're intentional distractions. So, oh, but what's this judgment card about? What's the judgment card about for Aquarius in the past universe? Two more shuffles, please. What's this judgment card about? What's this judgment card about? I think that was two shuffles. Neighbors banging on something. Neighbors are banging on something. I don't know what that was. A lot of y'all, a lot of y'all be like, oh, I heard that noise with my headphones on. Like my cats sometimes. I get that so many times in the comments section. Oh, I had my headphones on and I heard the cats. I heard your cats uh, and I thought it was my cat. I have seen, I've seen that like 20, 30 times in the comments. Anyway, uh, judgment is clarified by the Six of Swords reversed. Six of Swords reverse. So I definitely still feel like you're making this head over heart decision. Okay, because the Knight of Swords is still in the reverse right next to it. The Knight of Swords is still in, You know what? Why is the Knight of Swords reversed? Why is the Knight of Swords reversed? The Knight of Swords is reversed for Aquarius in every single reading. There's no communication going on here. Why is that? Why is nobody communicating? Why is nobody communicating, universe? Two shuffles, please, and thank you. That's one. Here's two. Why is that Knight of Swords reversed? What the hell are they doing? <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Okie dokie. Tower reversed. Tower reversed. Somebody's, y'all are trying to avoid whatever change this would make. Okay, because I feel like once communication starts up, um, of course, this is still past energy, so th it doesn't really say anything for the present or the future in November. But uh, definitely, I think you and the, well, mainly you, mainly you kind of realize that um, if the Knight of Swords goes in the upright, so is the Tower. And the Fool. Oh, and the Knight of Wands reverse. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, the Knight of, I mean, the, very, very simple. Like I said, it would cause a big change. It would cause a big change. I feel like, okay, first of all, everything in your life right now, no matter how bad this situation was, no matter how badly it went down, no matter how badly it's affecting you, I kind of feel like that's what this judgment card's about. The fact that you can't move on from this is... And, and, and everything that that caused as a result of, of, of you being hurt by this, every judgment that you have made since then has, is what's made this Wheel of Fortune work out for you. So everything in your life right now is built on this foundation, even though it's painful. You know what I'm saying? So there's something really, really deep inside you that, that understands that if this happens, so does this. Oops. So does this. You understand what I'm saying? So that's why this has stayed like this for so long. Um, even though the energy, even though you want to. You want to, and I, I got a feeling, I don't know, we'll, we'll see what's going on with the person you're dealing with. But for right now, it's not happening. It's not happening. But let's go ahead into some present moment stuff. Let's get into some present moment stuff. Pretty pleased for Aquarius, November 2018. 
Let's get into some present moment stuff for Aquarius. November 2018, please. Two shuffles. One. And two. Ace of Swords. Woo! And the chariot reversed. <clears throat> Ace of Swords and the chariot reversed. That's. And the Four of Pentacles reversed. So definitely. Um, I mean, there's nothing new to me. I mean. Hang on. Ace of Swords reversed, chariot reversed, and the Four of Pentacles reversed. So obviously. Um, I hate to think that. Uh, that, you know, this is a light bulb that just flicked on in your head. I don't really think that's what it is. I just think that uh, the realization is, is becoming more and more crisp and clear that uh, there is no forward movement with this. So as a result, you are um, releasing yourself from it. So I definitely, like, hang on, I'm going to clarify all these here in a minute. I'm going to clarify all these in a minute. I, 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 that's what I really feel like. I feel like like the reality is definitely sinking in to the point to where, because I think this is just me talking. This is my intuition. The cards aren't saying this yet, at least. But I definitely feel like um, there's a part of you that knows that as long as you're still like thinking about it, worrying about it, as long as your mind is still gripped onto it, it's not going to happen. But the minute you release it, the minute you release it, you know that's when it's going to come in. That's what this is saying right here. That's what this is saying. You're too, you're too gripped on to it. See how, see how that, that idea, that thought, how tight those hands are gripping that sword is the reason why there is no forward movement with this. And that is one hell of a realization for you to come to. So as a result of that, I feel like you are working on releasing this and not holding on to it anymore. And definitely working on something else. It, they, still though, um, it's not uh, stopping you. It's not distracting you. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and uh, I don't really need any clarification with any of this stuff right here. Let's clarify the chariot reverse. Why exactly is the chariot reverse? Let's get a little bit, uh, see if we can speak on that with just like maybe one or two more cards. So this chariot being reversed. Could be a cancer you're dealing with, by the way, or somebody with cancer in their chart. Let's just get like a card or two on that and see if it can uh, see if it can tell me something something interesting. Nine of Cups reversed. Nine of Cups reversed, and the Six of Pentacles reversed. Okie dokie. Yeah. Um, 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 um. To expand on this just a little bit more, like I said. I feel like at the same time, this, this right here is like a double play card, the way this is going on. Not only is the reality sinking into you that there is no forward movement, but like even deeper than that, you know what I'm saying? Like it even goes even deeper. You know, for a fact that the harder you grip onto that sword, the longer this chariot's going to stay in reverse. So, I mean, the situation is very, very, very one-sided. Like there, there's still like, you know, for a fact you're very aware that this is one-sided. That's one of the reasons why you're, you're holding back from it. Um, and, you know, your emotions are definitely not fulfilled. There was no real... I mean, that's kind of like, duh. I mean, I appreciate the clarification universe, but, you know, that's nothing that we didn't know. That we haven't already spoken on like a million times. Let's go ahead over here and uh, take a look at this person, though. See what's going on with them. What's going on with this person that Aquarius is dealing with? The person, people, or situation external to Aquarius that has the biggest effect on this reading universe three more shuffles put these cards in order pretty please one two and three oh that happened quick uh four wands four wands in the reverse and the star so um hang on hang on Four wands in the reverse. That's your card, though. So I kind of feel like they're definitely looking. The way they... Okay, this is pretty simple. The way they're looking at it is they feel like the door is closed. Okay? They feel like you closed the door on them. You understand what I'm saying? 
um, that right there is what uh, really screams at me. That's just, I know I could, I could if I really wanted to over, overthink it, I could like read that a million different ways, but that's what, that's what that screamed at me right there. Four wands reversed, doors closed. So there's, you, they, they, they don't feel like they can take action with you. You know what I'm saying? They don't, uh, get a few more cards. I'm going to clarify all these too. Like I said, I don't know if I already told you that or not, but I'm going to clarify anything in question here on this line with this other deck too. So, yeah, see, they're, um, they still haven't, they got the eight of cups reverse right here. They really still haven't let this go. Five of pentacles. They're working on it though. They're working on like, and the temperance card. Yeah. Five of pentacles. Okay. So four of wands reverse with the star. Like they basically feel like. Aquarius closed the door. You know what I'm saying? The star card is the Aquarius card, though, for those of you who don't really know about tarot cards. Um, Aquarius closed this door, and that's one of the reasons why they're holding back and not really communicate. But but still, on the inside, they feel like they can't walk away from you. You know what I'm saying? They still kind of feel, they still feel a little bit tied to this, but uh, right now, or at least in the past, this is a past line for them. Uh, they've been working on uh, getting over it and coming out of the abandonment and feeling cold with the temperance right next to the five of pentacles reversed. Um, they're patiently waiting, trying to get over this too. Um, let's clarify a couple of things. What's uh, what's the eight of cups reversed all about? Why can't they walk away from this? Why can't uh, why is this person still holding on to Aquarius? Why can't this person uh, why can't this person walk away yet? Because, I mean, you know, somebody's got to make a move. I think, again, I feel like y'all are mirroring each other. This is less of a mirroring effect, though, than it has been. I still feel like, but, you know, in a sense, y'all still ain't communicating. But what's the Eight of Cups reverse there for? Why is the Eight of Cups reversed, please? Why is that Eight of Cups reversed? Knight of Pentacles. They really want to come in and start this, like I said. They really want to come in. And start something new for you. Uh, but they got the Ten of Swords there. So I definitely, I, I kind of feel like it's coming to an end. It's, it is getting closer. Um, but right now, I definitely feel like in their own personal life, um, they have been, they've been pretty screwed up themselves. Definitely with that Ten of Swords right there. And they're, they're definitely working on coming out of pretty much all of their own just personal mistakes and, and fuck ups. Because I kind of feel like... Um, I kind of feel like they they did this to you, and then they went off thinking that uh, that that was a smart decision, and it wasn't. They just went off and like that was probably one of the biggest mistakes they could have made. One of the biggest mistakes they could have made because their life just continued to fall apart, and you know continued, continued, continued. That was like the dumbest thing they could have done because, um, <laughs> yeah, and uh, I think they know that. I think they know that. I think they're aware of that. That's why uh, the Knight of Pentacles is right there with that card, with the Eight of Cups reverse. They really can't let go of it because they know that that, that was a really stupid ass thing for them to do. Was you know fuck you over, basically. Or like, damn, that was retarded. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get some present moment to future types of stuff for this person. Queen of Swords, Queen of Swords. So I definitely feel like, like I said, I feel like they're coming to the reality of the situation and the five of wands, five of wands and the magician reverse. They're coming to reality of the, of the fact that, that, um, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's definitely a lot of conflict and they're not manifesting very good things into their life. And they got the 10 of pentacles reversed too. So, uh, but they're, they're aware of it. They're aware of how big of a mistake this was. They're realizing how big this mistake was. That's what I'm going to title this video. They're realizing how big of, the, of a mistake they made. And the justice reversed. So, it's feeling like the... And, and right down here at the bottom line, uh, justice, is, justice is right next to temperance. Okay? At the, at the bottom of both lines. These two are right next to each other. So... I definitely feel like it's it's still being worked on, but good lord, the saga does is it going to continue? I don't know. We still got some future energy stuff, 
Um, you know, we got timelines you're gonna be headed towards, but let's go ahead and uh, what's that five of wands all about up there? What's that five of wands for universe, please? I think I know, but let's just see if uh, the cards can tell me something different. What's the five of wands for universe, please? Two more shuffles. King of Wands. And the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like, because that's right under the Three of Swords. I definitely feel like, or uh, the Queen of Swords, I'm sorry. So I feel like this right here is a very, very, very clear indication that uh, they're very aware. They're, they're kind of like, Coming to terms with the fact that uh, the vast majority of the conflict that's in their life right now is because they were too damn stubborn. Um, they were too damn stubborn about what, you know what I'm saying? Like whatever, whatever it was that they did, whatever it was that they did, they did it out of pride. They did it out of pride because they, they thought, oh, I know what I'm doing. Aquarius is a dumbass, you know, and then now they're starting to realize, well, shit, all this conflict was because, um, because I should have been, yeah, because I was, do yeah. you know what I'm saying? I, I can't really spit the words out. I'm in the tarot zone and communication is a little bit difficult for me right now. They should have, this right here is what they should have done. But instead, just to hold up their pride and, you know, Aquarius is so stupid. I, I, I'm, I got control of this situation. Therefore, you know, their life has been nothing but basically this shit. This kind of shit right here. Is what they've been dealing with, and they they're they're coming to they're realizing that, okay, with this Queen of Swords right here, they're very aware that they did something stupid. So let's go ahead and see what uh, where is this situation going? Where is this situation going for Aquarius, November twenty eighteen, Universe, please? What timelines is Aquarius headed towards for November twenty eighteen? Yeah, and their Ten of Pentacles is reversed too. Ha! <laughs> Oops. Am I getting personal? I can't do that. This is a general reading. Anyway, uh, what timelines is Aquarius headed for? Headed towards for uh, November 2018. Timelines is Aquarius headed towards. One more shuffle. No, no, no. That's good. That's good. That's good. Thinking too much. That's good. That's enough shuffles. Six of Wands reversed. Damn it, man. Still no victory in the situation. Uh, ooh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Eight of wands. Eight of wands. So it does indicate some kind of communication in the Ace of Pentacles. Hmm. Nine of wands reversed. And the Page of Swords in the upright. <coughs> cool, so at least there's no stalking going on right here. I definitely feel like, I'm going to clarify this line too, but it's looking like the energy's definitely there. At least the energy is manifesting itself in November for this to, for communication to come in, uh, for you all to come out of the conflict and at least communicate again. You know, you may not even have a clue what you're going to say to the person with this page right here. doesn't really know what he's doing. Kind of holding a sword a little bit funny and looks kind of goofy standing there. You know what I'm saying? But uh, what's this six of wands reversed for universe? Why is there no victory in the situation? Maybe, see, this is the first card in the in the future timelines uh, line. This is the first card in the line, so creep, I mean, I don't know, hang on. What's the six of wands reverse for? That may just be, you know, the simple fact, because this is closer to present moment energy. So presently... And, and in the, the, the very near future, you still don't feel a sense of victory, as a, you know, but I mean, it looks like the, the energy is manifesting itself in the end of November, okay? Now, when the energy manifests itself, it's up to you to do something about it. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to happen in November. Um, it could for a lot of you, but for, you know, but pretty much for everybody, though, the energy is like, it's in the air, okay? So it's finally possible. Whenever everything decides to line up after this point, after November, it is possible now. It is possible. I just want to see what that Six of Wands is reversed for. Real quick before we uh, go ahead and call it good. 
before we call it good. Let's see what that's all about. The world. I don't understand how the world clarifies it, but it definitely looks like this. Is, like I said, this is Queen of Cups reversed. Well, okay, so uh, the uh, four cups too. Um, I feel like you, you, you really don't feel like you feel like it's a you feel like a failure. First of all, even though you know for a fact that uh, first of all, like I said, not only is um, this entire situation has basically built your life right now, basically. Okay, you're aware of that, and that's what this world is all about right here. But um, still, I kind of feel like since this right here is the very like future timelines, six of wands, uh, six of wands reversed with the Queen of Cups reversed and the Four of Cups in the upright is definitely still like feeling a sense of failure and victory. But right after that, the Eight of Wands is in the upright, the Ace of Pentacles is in the upright, the Nine of Wands is in the reverse, and the Page of Swords is in the reverse. So the energy. It's not going to feel like this for very much longer, basically. This right here is about to be over. This right here is about to be over for some reason. This shit right here is about to end. It's about to be done. It's about to be over with. The, the, at the end of November, the energy is manifesting itself in the air for this to finally stop and come to an end. And, and, and you know what I, what I honestly think it is? To keep, to, to, to keep this tower from turning upright. It's to keep it reversed. Because right now... Just the way you feel and it just, just the way everything is right now. Right now is not the time. Right now is not the time. And the reason being is because you don't need another tower moment. Okay? You're, basically, you're not ready for it yet is what this is telling me. You're still not ready for it. That's the reason that, uh, that this happened this way. This happened to put you on a track that would build your life into something awesome and it's not ready to come to a close yet until you're ready to handle it. Because if, 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 if this situation manifests itself and finally comes to a close before you're ready, everything will just fall apart again. You understand what I'm saying? So anyway, damn, 27 minute long video. I uh, hope you uh, enjoyed that reading guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here and I will, uh, I'm throwing you guys something in extra too for the month. I'm going to throw in a little bonus of some sort. I got a few tricks up my sleeve. But anyway, I'll see you guys on the weekend forecast. Have a good one.